Hi, this is Dr. Centeno, and I'd like to spend just a few minutes talking about the future of orthopedics. And I really mean the future from a 30,000 foot viewpoint, not any specific focus. Because of biologics, orthopedics will become mostly percutaneous. So what do I mean by biologics? I mean mostly, initially, autologous biologics, the patient's own platelets, stem cells, and mixes of same. I also mean the newer biologics uh, that will follow after that, things like induced pluripotent cells, etc., and other technologies that will allow us to repair tissue. So if we looked at 2000, or the year 2000, and surgical versus percutaneous, and what I mean by percutaneous is needle-based procedures, there really wasn't much contest. Surgery dominated what we did in 2000. And outside of some steroid shots uh, that were really uh, done on the minority of people, there wasn't much being done through injection, which is percutaneous. But by this next year, that will actually have changed quite a bit. I think we're already seeing that about 15% of all orthopedic interactions that go beyond physical therapy are turning into needle-based things like platelet-rich plasma injections for tendonitis or tendinopathy. We're not doing many tendinopathy surgeries anymore as a nation, and that will continue to decline. In addition, we're seeing more and more use of stem cells. Now, what the, will that look like by 2030? It's going to flip. So what that means is that the minority of what's done by 2030 will be open surgeries, arthroscopic surgeries, and the majority of what's done by 2030 will be percutaneous or needle-based procedures using new tools that aren't even invented yet to place biologics to repair tissue. Because again, you have to remember that most of our thought process behind why surgery was necessary was because we couldn't repair tissue. The best we could do was to try to sew it together and hope it would repair or cut it out if it was horribly damaged. So autologous biologics initially and then other biologics will flip orthopedics on its head. Most of what's done by 2030 will involve driving a needle under guidance, not looking through an arthroscope, and not performing open surgery. Uh, again, this is going to be a major transformation for the field. And obviously that's where Regenix is focused. We're focused on interventional orthopedics, not just common little tweaks of major surgeries, but reinventing the entire process from the ground up. So for more information, see Regenix.com and thanks for watching.